Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, large portions of the Everglades were drained and developed. This affected native animal and plant species and water quality. Now, the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service is working to restore the Everglades. Through the program like, programs like WRP, the Wetland Reserve Program, uh, we're working with farmers and ranchers to enter into easements so that uh, we can restore those lands that previously were drained that eventually is going to contribute to uh, a cleaner water, more quantity of water, and uh, more importantly, a healthier Everglades. The landowners are the foundation or the the capstone or basis for uh, achieving Everglades restoration goals. They know the landscape the best. NRCS assists landowners with improvements that keep livestock out of wetlands. By putting in the water trolls also, it keeps our cattle from standing in the swamps as much or in the natural wetlands areas. And water control structures help keep runoff from carrying animal waste and fertilizer into the Everglades. By holding that water, we let a lot of this water just kind of recharge the whole aquifer as it goes in. Everglades restorationists say working farms and ranches are essential to their efforts. A wonderful wetland in the middle of a ranch is bringing us a lot more regulatory services than a piece of asphalt in the middle of an urban area. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison.